What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be finishing the engine bay. Finally, hopefully, possibly, don't know. Back from a holiday, I did miss a video, but I was ill so I couldn't be bothered to do anything. But we're back on the grind now. I'm still quite ill, but we've gotta get it done. Today, we're gonna to take the engine back out and then we're gonna weld the reinforcement plates on the side and clean it all up and paint it all with all the paint and then we can finally put the engine back in. So that's the plan. I need to scuff this up a little bit still. I mean, it's pretty smooth to be fair. I'm not that worried about it. There's a few like imperfections, but the flakes should hide a lot of it in theory. And it is a drift car, it's not a show car. So it should be all right. <laughs> flakes is. <laughs> I was gonna do this, so see Blake's smoothed all of his off which looked super nice and these as well it's like super flowy but i don't know what to do i don't know whether to do the same thing or whether just to weld plates in and paint it i don't know so i just want to get this done to be honest i don't know i'll decide in a minute i'm probably just going to clean these up a bit and then paint it but yeah let's get this engine out just prep the area to weld these in i've just got them over there because i pray, uh, sprayed some primer inside and get these welded on finally Bad. It's quite smooth, isn't it? Nice little touch in it, nice little touch in it. Show the outside, the outside now. <laughs> right, so they're all in. I've put some filler on them just to smooth them out a little bit. Only a tiny bit, literally just to put my finger along the edges. And then I sprayed some zinc primer on there to stop rusting. Um, but yeah, it's getting there. If it focuses, there we go. Looks quite good to be honest. I bent them all down so they fit nice. Can bang in. Now I'm just gonna primer the whole bay with some just standard Halfords gray primer. Again, if it focuses, there we go. Just for some of this. And then we'll come here on the next day and then we'll actually paint it. And I'd need to mask everything up properly, but I won't do that until I use the actual um, spray gun for now. I'll just be careful. I've masked up, well, put some rags over the main bits. But yeah, let's, let's primer it now. There we go. She's all one colour. It's the first time it's been one colour in a while. Looks pretty fresh. Quite happy about it turned out. Um, yeah, so next stage, mix up all the paint and then paint it. Sweet as. Right, so we came up last night, set up our amazing DIY um, paint booth is I mean it should do the job it's just not to get paint on the cars basically um, I'm just gonna go around now and put plastic bags over everything mask everything off that I'm not taping and yeah I mean it looks pretty good I'm quite excited to paint this it's my first time using a gun so it should be interesting we got the paints here we got the if it focuses we got the velvet blue here then we've got thinners for it. And then for the lacquer, we've got a, a 2K lacquer. So it's a two part, part one. You've got the hardener. Um, but yeah, we'll mix this up. I have no idea about paint, so this is all new to me. So it could be interesting. It might not turn out amazing or it might turn out amazing. I don't know. We'll soon find out. I've got some mixing jugs here. I only wanted like one or two, but you can only buy a pack of a 50 or a 100, apparently. Um, yeah, do that. We've got a spray gun here. We've got another one somewhere as well. But yeah, I've also got this little heater here that I'm gonna put in there to try and warm it up a bit because you're supposed to paint in about 20 degrees and in here it's probably about 10, if that, probably less than that at the moment. And it's quite windy in here as well, as you can see, it's all blowing around. But 
I'm gonna tape it all up and then we do have the front for this there as well. So I'll put the front across, lock myself in there and spray away. Um, also, got this mask as well. Make sure you use a mask if you're using proper spray paint, not like canned stuff, but proper this stuff, because this stuff is really strong and poisonous. So you don't want to be breathing that in. But yeah, let's mask all this up. Ross is also changing his diff again. The diff master at work. His new nickname is Diff King, so <laughs> not Drift King, just Diff King. Keeps breaking stuff to do with diffs. But yeah. Good luck with that, mate. Right, so we've got the paint, and I'm gonna add some of this purple flake into it. I have no idea how much to add, but I'm just gonna pour a bit, stir, pour a bit, stir, and see how it goes. Let's do it. Glitter all over me, already. How much do you pour in? Do that. Should I just do a little bit at a time? You like my stirring? That's the lick, mate. Such a nice colour. You can see it like reflecting already. Send it! You never have too much power, can you? Professional. Oh, and you see that? Oh, that's sick. Send it. It's gonna be more power than fucking paint. I say more, mate. Yeah. yeah. Let's chuck the whole lot in. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. It vanishes in the paint, doesn't it? You sing it. Only one way to find out. Uh, yeah, it's gonna it'll, it'll get clogging the gun. You can't see it. Lift it up and drip it off. It just looks a bit more purple. <laughs> There's a whole bag. <laughs> Hundred grams of flake. Gram. <laughs> you can have it. Where is it going? Is it heavier and sinking? Yeah, but it won't be. I'm mixing though, aren't I? Put the lid on it and f***ing... Yeah. <laughs> Good job we're adding thinners to this. I, when I'm mixing it, I can see reflections of, like, purpley pink. She looks purple, doesn't it? Yeah, like, you can see little glitters. But not huge of that. Quite a thin flake, isn't it? Yeah. Painters are probably watching this and they're like, yeah. what are you doing? Like, it, it, the illusion comes when you're actually spraying yeah, it spray and not in the tin. Yeah. <laughs> spray it and it's just like shining like crazy. I mean, I can see it, it's just not... You can, you can see it all in, in the surface. Yeah. It's just not as prominent as I was hoping. I thought it'd be like chunks, you know what I mean? You could really see it. It's probably way too just much. A bit more. Definitely way too oh, much flake in there. No, do it. It's gonna be the pimp is ending by ever. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely sparkly. Yeah, 100%. It's just... Uh, colour, yeah. But it's thinner. Yeah. Should have probably bought a bigger flake. Yeah, no, it looks I really fine. I think when sprayed out on a thin... In, in, like a thin <laughs> go for it. <laughs> Send it! It's my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> right, here we go. So this is my little spray booth. We've got a heater in there as well, just warming it up. It's actually... Considering all of the gaps, it's actually way warmer in here than it is out there, which is good. I've just blown it off, got rid of all the dust, and yeah. Oh wait, I still need to cover in there, forgot about that. Don't want to paint the wheel blue as well. Uh, yeah, time to set the gun up. See how this turns out. Right, so I've just done some test runs in there. Gun's working all alright. Time to paint. I can't really film while painting, so... What I'll do, I'll just give you an update in a minute once I do one coat. Yeah. Here we go.
Right, so I have painted the purple now. There's definitely plenty of flake. I mean, you can just about see it on the camera. Look at it sparkle. Looks so sick. It's looking good. Got a little heater in here. Oh yeah, this is going to look so good. I've left it for about 15, 20 minutes. Now I've just got to do the lacquer. I'm going to do quite a few layers of lacquer because with the flake, it's like grit. So, <clears throat> so you need to layer it up with lacquer. I'll see, I'll just keep doing layers until it looks smooth, really. That looks so sick. All right, so it's time to mix up the lacquer now. Um, with this lacquer, it's... Let me have a look. So it's two to one. So you put two of lacquer and then one of hardener and then up 10% of thinners. So definitely get these cups if you're doing any painting because it's all measured out and it'll save you a lot of hassle. I can't imagine trying to do this without this. It would be an absolute pain. But yeah, let me mix them up and then put it in the gun and then start spraying again. Come into my tent with me. <laughs> Nearly knocked it down. Ah, falling over. Oh, I shouldn't be wearing my jacket in here. It's a bad idea. Yeah, there we go. It's all lacquered now. I think I've done about eight layers of lacquer, I'd like to say. I'm not sure, but it looks absolutely sick. Look at that, if it focuses. So sparkly. I love it. It's like if the light's not on it, it doesn't look that sparkly. But then if you shine a light on it, it's proper sparkly. So nice. Not bad for the first time using a spray gun. It's a lot easier than a, than a spray can, that's for sure. And I can't see any runs that I've done anyway. I accidentally messed up a little bit there and dropped some water on there. But you can't tell that much. But yeah, looks absolutely sick. Jay-Z is going to look so good in here. Mint. Love it. Right, so that's probably going to be it for today's video. Quite happy with how it turned out. That's my first time ever using a spray gun. I had no idea what I was doing, to be completely honest. Uh, but it seems to work out all right. It's all dry and nice. There's no reactions. Um, there's only. I found one small little run on the lacquer, but it's going to be hidden anyway, so I'm not that bothered. There's a few spots where like dust has landed on it, but I mean, we're working in a, a dusty warehouse. It's impossible to get it perfect, but pretty happy with how it turned out to be fair. Oh, it looks so good. Got the heater in here, just letting it cook. Surprisingly, it's actually quite warm in here. I would have thought it wouldn't get warm because it's not sealed, but it's quite a bit warmer. Oh, it looks so good. Get it fresh. But yeah, on there, there's a few little bits of dust, but I'm not too bothered. Here's what it is. Here's what it is, mate. Ali Ross making loads of noise. Yeah, next week the Jay-Z will be going in finally, so I'll probably do a video on fitting all the adapter kit for the gearbox and clutch and everything. Um, and then, yeah, it'll be able to go in and hopefully not come back out. I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to come back out. <laughs> not unless I miss something. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.